Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Monolith. What is this guy doing? Sup? I wish we had a jukebox down here, that'd be rad. We do have a jukebox, my friend! Is this sunshine? No. Maybe it is sunshine. Sup? Whoa, what a blast from the past! So I think he just talks about the music that you're playing here. Downfall. Is there anything like down well? Any good music? Any good music that we can listen to? I don't know if this makes it so that, um, hums along. I don't know if changing the music changes the music for the entire run. I assume no. Bzz, that portrait, very embellished. Bloke, in actuality, not very strong. Yeah, the stupid, uh, stupid ghost skull man with an eyeball laser, whatever he is. Um, there's nothing left for us to buy. I want to save money and pick up the sword. Because my friend really loves a sword, and... Oh, we're not playing on hard mode. This is the regular ship. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We gotta go to the D-13 ship. I thought that... Hello? I've been exploding for so long I can recall not else. My life is a waking nightmare. And then he's dead. Interesting. Uh, we gotta play D-13 hard mode, because that's what we're, uh, we're doing. That's the next goal in Monolith, is to try to survive and achieve victory, or at the very least destroy the Overlord with this ship. I do kind of like it that there is a second like music track happening here. It's very neato. Very neato bandito. I'm gonna try to be a lot more careful, I think. I'm gonna try to be a lot more considerate about my position, about my dodging. I'm gonna try my best not to take a whole bunch of dumb damage. To have good target selection, hopefully. To use my dodge rolling or my dodging. I really do want to try to make a victory happen, and that's only gonna happen if I play well. So, let's see if I can play well. Also, I'm noticing that that guy fires twice instead of just firing once now. I guess that's the benefit he gets to hard mode is that he gets an extra shot coming out of him. Okay, Skull Man fires five bullets. That's good to know. It's good to just have some time to kind of take a look at what's happening here. To be like, what are the enemies? What are their patterns? You know, when there's only one enemy, it's very nice. Fortune you have to take. So be it. 10% damage upgrade is phenomenal. I hate that the ghosts now fire a shot when they die. Mostly just because they try to, I think, uh, surround you and swarm you a lot. So the fact that there's just more that you have to try to uh, avoid when you're killing them is kind of annoying. We get a bomb. I mean, I guess that's good. We have a bomb that we could use immediately. Oh, I didn't even realize that that the mages, their shots, now hit walls and explode into more bullets. Lovely. That's terrible. That is terrible and terrifying. Okay, he's dead. Back up to full health. Really, it's the, um... Those bullets are curving. That is bullshit. Really, it's the, um... the money multiplier I'm worried about right now, because I do want to pick up the key and be able to uh, go to the vault room. But it's gonna cost a lot of money, and then I won't be able to buy the damage upgrade if I do that. So I guess what we should do is fight the boss first, and then worry about it. Laser triple phasing is the best. The forgotten ringleader. There's gonna be a lot of enemies here that we're gonna have to kill. That's not how you blink, or that's not how you bomb. What is happening? Oh, I see, you gotta, you gotta stay in close to him. Okay, okay, okay. I was very worried, because I'm like, how am I supposed to dodge this? I'm, am I taking a whole bunch of damage? Yeah, I was taking a whole bunch of damage. That's not good. Okay, well, we don't have enough money for the vault. I'm just gonna buy the damage, because it's guaranteed and we're gonna leave. Yeah, I also was pressing the wrong button for, uh, for bombing. You know what, hold on a second. I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna go to my freaking mouse software, and I'm going to make it so that there's a, a monolith-specific profile. I'm gonna make it so that the button on the side is keyboard function left shift. There we go. 
So now theoretically, I can press the uh, the same button I press in Gungeon to blank in order to do a uh, a bomb. I'll give it a try the next time I want to like find a secret room or something. Okay, we're done with the floor. We've done everything. Wait, that changed something on my mouse because now the sensitivity is way different. Yeah, it is way different. Oh my god! You'd think that if I just add a new profile, it wouldn't change the uh, settings on the current profile, but no, apparently not. There we go. That's much better. Okay, 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 okay. Archives, let's go. I don't know what that, that does, <laughs> the hat. I know that there are different, um, you know, like, buffing hats in the game, some enemies can wear them, maybe all the enemies can. I don't know what that one does, I don't know what they do by color. I should probably figure that out at some point. That'd probably make it a little bit easier. These guys create bullets when they disappear. How bullshit is that? <laughs> that is not good, that's not good at all. Increases all ammo or replenishes all ammo. Okay, well, I mean, I feel a little bit bullshit about that because he he telefragged me. I don't know what I was supposed to do about that to prevent him from from hitting me. But sure, whatever. I figured we'll just use a bomb. We need to start recharging bombs, you know? Use them. Use them or lose them. I hate the mages now. They used to be a lot better, but now that they have freaking. Freaking bullets that they fire while they're doing their uh, their attacks is, is very, very annoying. Extra pow, focus, plating. Increases maximum HP by one third. Honestly, I kind of want that, but I also kind of like focus. Because we're having such a, uh, a difficult time in hard mode, just having more iframes might be very good for us. And I'm, I am hoping that focus can help me recover my HP. That would be very handy. Aw, oh, shit. I didn't try hard enough to dodge the ghost. And the ghost got me. Not gonna have a lot of money on this floor. I could spend my HP in order to get something like a damage upgrade. And honestly, it's not that bad of an idea, but 5% is not a lot of damage, so I'm, I'm not super into that idea. Let's not go to the vault yet. Let's use more ammo in this weapon. I hate these, they spawn ghosts when you hit the blocks. Uh, but yeah, let, yeah, let's not go to the vault yet. Let's try to use as much ammo in the weapon as possible. I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. How bullshit. Revolver piercing split shotgun. No, let's go to the vault. This is really good. We have six bombs for the boss fight. We should be able to kill the boss. Without taking damage. I also do want to find a secret room which we haven't found yet. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's there. 10% <laughs> damage, that is worth it. Should we fight the boss with 21 ammo, or should we get a, a full ammo back? Plus 54 shots. I kind of want to try to fight the boss, and then get full ammo after the boss fight. But I also don't want to lose the weapon, so you know what? Let's just pick, pick it up now. Demon. I hate this guy. I forgot that we don't have blink. I tried to dodge roll through the bullets. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage. This guy's very tanky too.
Why did I dodge roll to the right? Ah, uh, Monolith, you're a good game, but your keyboard inputs not lining up with actions is very frustrating sometimes. Okay, let's go down to the next floor. We're done with this floor. Maintenance system, floor three. Should probably try to like, have better target selection and prioritization. I think that'd probably be a big thing. Backblast, I don't, I would take a fireball if it had the AOE effect on it. Oh, you shot me as soon as I walked into the room. But it's, uh, well, that's very pretty. That must be the maintenance system. But, uh, there we go. No shake cam, please. What was, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I forgot entirely what I was saying, because I wanted to go to the menu and turn off the shake. Need more ammo. We have like 100% ammo capacity, which is kind of not very good right now. Would have hoped that we could get some more at this point. We're gonna need more. Oh, the I see. These guys have changed. So um, in normal mode, those guys put an X on the ground and they go to it and explode. On hard mode, their X actually follows you a little bit. How devious. Oh, there's fire coming out of, or steam or whatever coming out of the freaking things. There's a lot about this game that I still gotta learn. Like how to not take damage every second. Our HP is not that bad, and we can generally recover a lot of HP on each floor. Problem is we're not gonna be able to buy anything. You guys fire a lot of bullets. I do not like that at all. Okay, hanging out by the entrance worked. <laughs> There's no secret room there. So let's keep exploring. Almost out of ammo, which is always a, a lovely sign. has been broken. We might as well look at what other weapons are here. Fireball, Backblast, Freeze, Chain Lightning. We, we kind of have to take it because there's not enough time really in order to, uh, in order to get ammo. But that's okay. We're at 2.5x, which is nice. Scanner, Stealth, Autobomb. Enemies take longer to activate. Autobomb doesn't seem that good when we only have two bombs. And Scanner doesn't seem that good because we kind of want to go to all rooms anyways. I guess we'll try Stealth. We'll go to the secret room. Increases maximum ammo, that's really good. That's what I wanted. Maybe having a uh, longer time before enemies activate's good. You know, gives me more time to get into the room and see what's happening before they start attacking. Now if you hit an enemy, they'll activate immediately. Maybe just having a little bit of extra time is all I want, all I need. Fireball, chain landing, shotgun, backblast. Shotgun could be good, but also I I, I do kind of like the uh, freezing that we have. But against bosses, I don't think you can freeze them, so. Huh. The armor tech. I hate that. I hate that so much. Every time he does that attack, he hits me. Let's keep shooting. Doing fine. Oh, I gotta go down. He's climbing back up the walls. Oh, I don't believe you're dead for a second. At least he's very weak here. can't dodge through the laser. I would love to dodge through the laser, but you can't. 
Okay, 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 okay. Lost all of our damage multiplier, but that's to be expected. Let's get the hell out of here. Go down to the next floor. I gotta start playing better if we're gonna be able to defeat the the Overlord. Overlord's gonna own me at this rate. Increases max HP. Two bombs would be good for the boss fight. Increasing maximum ammo might actually be pretty good. Plus 22 shots. We only have 120% right now. That could be really good. Should we take it now or later? Probably now. Salvage plating voltaic. More HP. Give me more HP. And I, I'll, I'll take this now. More ammo. Yeah, give me more HP. I'm gonna need it. Oh, come on! <laughs> I tried. Probably not hard enough, but I kind of tried. Also, you guys are stuck in there, huh? Stop taking damage. I do like the, the chain lightning, though. The fact that we have a little bit of AoE can kind of kill a bunch of enemies in one shot. That's pretty nice. Laser, triple, continuous. I'm just gonna take the vault key. Take the vault key, see if we can get something good out of the vault. I don't know. I'm trying different things now. I, I, I'm liking this gun. This gun seems to be working fine. Freezing is less important, I think, on the fireball, though, because it does so much damage, but it is, it is still going fine for us. You know what? A bomb dropped, so let's just use the bomb. Yeah, I, I hate this. <laughs> if we can just... Freaking spawned on top of me, or not on top of me, but close enough that I didn't feel like I could dodge anything. I probably should have still tried. Yeah, this game's hard. Also, where is the secret room? I keep blanking or bombing in rooms when I should probably not because I could always just, you know, wait. I could always wait and see what's happening and see if there is actually the possibility of there even being a uh, secret room in a location. How come I can't kill these things? Okay, you're dead. Pick up the HP. We need a lot of HP right now. I need a lot of HP. We need ammo too. The damage I do appreciate, but we need HP. I, oh, you know, I shouldn't, now that I think about it, I should not have uh, done that. Use the weapon chamber, because now I'm out of ammo and I would prefer to have any other weapon. <laughs> Please give me ammo. Lots of money. That's a lot of money. But we're gonna be fighting the boss with our starter weapon right now. That is that is not good. Hmm. Well, we'll buy two bombs. And then we'll fight the boss. I don't feel good about this. Also, I almost got stuck. Yeah. That's a big mistake, I think. I think it's a big mistake to not have uh, saved that ammo or the uh, the weapon system. Now I would really like to have it. This guy actually doesn't seem that bad, but I imagine he's gonna get annoying. Yeah, there we go. There's damage. There's our flawless gun. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could get flawlesses from bosses and then maybe get like a permanent HP upgrade or something a la Gungeon. But I, I, I also, something about, about it, so I like, uh, 
Um, I'm just trying to find the right words while I'm fighting this guy. I kind of like that there is no real penalty for getting hit. You lose your your money multiplier, and you lose some HP that you can always recover. I'm gonna save my money so I can just buy HP recovery on the next floor. But this is not good. I'm I'm understanding, I think, a little bit better now some of the uh, the to-dos and the not-to-dos in the game. You know, try to save your weapon uh, terminal for when you actually need ammo. You know, when you run out of ammo in the gun that you have. Try your best to uh, keep your distance from enemies when you need to. Have better target selection. Blank where appropriate. Also, I fucking hate the blue mages because they telefrag you. Also, this guy is wrecking me. I hate the blue mages. I hate that they telefrag you. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Hey, it's a shop. We'll buy HP and then I'll come back and buy the damage upgrade later. There could have been another shop on the floor. Maybe I shouldn't have bought everything right now. <sighs> These guys shoot bullets when they do that. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it. I really don't want to fight the boss with my starter weapon, though. <laughs> I really want to find, yeah, this here. But we'll, we'll come back to this later. I think, it, I think it's probably more valuable right now to save the, uh, Okay. I think it's probably more valuable right valuable right now to save the uh, the weapon system for uh, when we actually do want to go fight the boss. Okay, okay, okay. You you guys are dead. Cause that way I can I can have like a, a good gun with full ammo capacity or something. Yeah, just kill these guys. Hide behind the freaking walls. Hopefully it's a good one. Autobomb scanner salvage. It is so bad. <laughs> it is so bad. We'll take autobomb. But that is a that is a not very good set of upgrades. I hate the fire guys. Their shots create bullets. We can gamble. Honestly, gambling for HP might be the best thing. Um I should never have taken damage. Oh, I got hit twice because these guys explode into bullets when they die. But I should never have gotten hit there. I should have blanked a lot earlier and then gotten out of there. I hate this game. <laughs> it's a hard game. Take the firebomb, otherwise it would just disappear. Hard mode is really hard. But also, I, oh god, they, they fire just so quickly. Like as soon as you walk into the room, they start shooting. They give you no time. But I think getting better at Monolith is just gonna take time. It's gonna take time and it's gonna take familiarity with the enemies, their weapon patterns, their death bullet patterns too. As annoying as that sounds. I'm not taking too much damage using the starter weapon, but I, I I have to save that ammo box for the Overlord. It's gotta happen. Maybe we could take it now. It's pretty close to the end of the floor. Revolver, homing, chain, burst. Okay. That seems pretty good. Killed him quickly enough. Why wow, you fire so quickly? Everything is too loud and explosive. Hard to see. Laser triple continuous, laser triple piercing, laser 
pulse waves phasing. I don't know. Maybe the revolver is gonna be pretty good for us. Let's try the revolver. We have enough ammo to make it work for the uh, the boss fight. And chain lightning is kind of nice. We're not gonna have enemies on the boss fight though. So maybe that's gonna be kind of a little bit annoying. Ah, I dodged right into a bullet. Should probably be focusing on actually like killing individual enemies a little bit more, but. Well, we have to fight the boss with basically no health. No, we can gamble health, we can gamble health. Sixty two hundred gold for a five percent damage upgrade. Might as well buy this one for fifteen thousand, it's guaranteed. We're not done yet. So the boss fight left. There's so many of them! Although I guess that the chain lightning is pretty good at killing them. Got one more HP back. We have eight HP, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I don't care about the floor after this, I just want to kill the overlord. Do -do 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 -do. Got two bombs, no auto bomb. Oh, I tried to move left, but I didn't make it. Oh, and then I got hit again! Hard to keep an eye on everything happening at the same damn time. Okay, okay, okay. Five HP. All right, he's he's not doing anything yet. Ah, oh, damn it! Saw that coming. I hate the curving shots there. The blue shots that curve around. We do good damage with the weapon that we have right now, the revolver, so maybe that's exactly what we need to survive this. I can see how this is slightly more difficult because the shots are moving a little bit. I think we got it. I think we're gonna kill the Overlord. We're probably not gonna get that far in on the next floor, but at least he's gonna be dead. Unless he has a fourth phase. I wouldn't put it past the game, but no, there we go. We're going, we made it past the Overlord. I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better about myself. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe we can observe some enemy patterns here, get a little bit more comfortable with what's happening. We're gonna need ammo. There is a weapon system on the floor, so we will have ammo at least, or a new weapon at least for the boss fight. But I am still hoping that maybe we can get some, uh, some shit out of the um, fortune upgrade, you know? What? It didn't, the, uh, the, the, the thing didn't say that it was gonna hit me. It just said where it was gonna be. I didn't think that the bullet, the, the laser was gonna be that wide. I feel a little bit cheated out of that one. Why are you curving? Oh, you teleported. Oh, oh the bullets, the walls, I mean. Money's useless, don't give me money. There's apparently no shop down here. That dodge should never have worked. I mean, I really like having the blink. Getting low on ammo. So we should probably get the, uh, the ammo upgrade so that we can get a little bit of health back from the revolver that we have right now, because by recycling, we'll get a little bit something back, you know? I think I get, oh, your shots go through walls. Your shots go through walls. How rude. This isn't the weapon location, this is the weapon location. God damn. Fireball triple, that's a pretty good weapon. I didn't think his shot would go through the walls. <laughs> I didn't think these enemies would be able to walk through walls, but apparently they are. Okay, more HP. Fortune, you have to give me more HP, bro. Got 
We have a lot of ammo in this gun. I almost just walked in that bullet. Easy. Oh, what the hell? Tried to get past the fireball man. And he doubled back very quickly. I gotta be using the uh, bombs more. I am not bombing all that much. And I think that's a big mistake. Bombing is very important. I gotta be doing that a lot more. We also should probably look for a secret room. Not gonna be here. But a secret room could have a lot of good stuff in it for us. Hell, even if it just has a time bomb, it's probably worth finding. Could have ammo. Recover three HP. It is the best thing I have ever seen in this game. Triple shot fireball is really nice. It's doing a lot of damage. There were no other triple shot fireballs in the run though. This is the first one, I think. Oh, get out of the way. Ah, God damn it. It's so hard to dodge the bullets. It's annoying when these guys teleport in front of you. All right, right now, the idea is save as many bombs as possible. Collect as many bombs as possible for that boss fight. We get in there with five HP and we own him. Oh, God damn it. Way too many like explosions and stuff happening in this game. It's hard to see anything sometimes. But that's just me complaining. That's, that's, a, that's a dumb move. Okay. This is the last mini boss. After this one, we can fight the boss. I got stuck on the effing wall. God damn it. All right, four HP, 105 shots, two bombs. Let's do it. We're fighting the monolith. Also lasers, wherever the lasers happen. Oh no, there's just a door and then we go down. Okay. Hello, who are you? You're me. Your normal mode. Oh, and now we're fighting the monolith, okay. So I get it, so we came down here, oh God. We came down here earlier in the normal mode run and we won and this is us now, Power Eternal. Your shots are going through walls and they are like red and blue at the same time which makes it hard to see. Don't do that. Although, the sh I'm noticing we are probably not going to win this because, well, for starters, we have no HP, but also, look how little damage we did against the boss here. What the hell? We're going to need a lot more HP and bombs and knowledge about the boss fight for that to work. My god. He is extremely tanky. <laughs> he is extremely tanky. You unlocked donations, but that was a that was a good run. What are, what are donations? A shop. Uh, donations, donations, donations. I'm trying to think. Ghostly squeal. Where are donations? Music, mods. It's not a modifier here. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. What are donations? I know what this does. The one-time care package delivery use when required. Basically, you can give your give a run a buff at the very beginning. When you unlock this, you can have the option on the very first room of a run to take bonuses. You know, like damage bonuses, uh, ammo bonuses, weapons, HP bonuses, extra bombs right off the bat, and hopefully you'll have a, a strong run. So maybe we'll try this with a D13 hard mode run eventually if we uh, keep failing. 
But I want to try, you know, new weapons and stuff. I want to find donations. Where the hell is donations? I don't know. But let's buy the sword. Apparently it's really good. And if we can get the giant upgrade with it, apparently it is amazing. Is donations a soundtrack? Could be a soundtrack. It is not a soundtrack. Well, I've got no idea. If you know, please let me know. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monolith.